Okay, everybody, let's get started. As I said, I do want to honor your time and um, I know that there are other meetings tonight, but we are very excited to have you here. Um, and tonight to share a little bit about the science experience that you might have as a student coming here to Bishop O'Dowd, or for you that are parents um, that your son or daughter may um, get when they come to Bishop O'Dowd. So um, we wanna introduce ourselves. My name is Tim Newman and I'm the science department chair. Um, and I've been around for, for, thanks for saying hi, that's really nice. <laughs> but um, we've been around uh, Bishop O'Dowd for a little while. I have to admit this is our first uh, digital open house, um, but we're pretty excited about what we have prepared for you tonight. And um, I teach, right, right now I currently teach biology and AP biology. Um, but I have also taught science in the environment and sports medicine and anatomy physiology, um, as well as way back in the day, I taught a little bit of PE and health ed. So, Kaylinda? Sure, um, my name is Kaylinda Ellenwood. I teach science in the environment, which is the freshman level class that all of you eighth graders would be take, come in, taking coming in here. And this is my second year at O'Dowd. Hey, Troy? Hi, my name is Troy Imhoff. I teach um, biology and honors chemistry. And this is also my second year at O'Dad. And I let Karen in. So she's here. Awesome. Hello. Karen, could you introduce yourself? Karen Prail, and I teach, I've taught uh, many courses here, but I currently teach AP environmental science and um, biology. Cool. Um, so here's what we have planned. Um, we hope that you guys have a chance either, I don't know, before tonight or even after to take a look at some of our handouts that we have available to you. One of them is about the different courses that we offer and some of our prerequisites. Uh, another one is one we're very excited about, which is called our science emphasis. So those people that are like super excited about doing science or really focusing on one avenue of science, it kind of maps out kind of a pathway that you might take for classes. And the last one is about our science research trips. So to kind of introduce things for you today, we have a really special video. So we're gonna pull that up right now and let you watch that for a few minutes. Bishop O'Dowd High School is well known for its highly regarded science department. Offering 18 different science courses taught by a dedicated and hardworking team of 12 teachers, O'Dowd brings innovative, student-centered, hands-on science to life. Our facilities include two fully equipped chemistry labs, a cutting-edge green classroom, a prolific vegetable garden, a pond, live animals, a greenhouse, a covered amphitheater, and acres of outdoor teaching space we are proud to call the Living Lab, which is staffed and cared for by garden experts and Bishop O'Dowd students. As freshmen, students enjoy a multidisciplinary course that builds a strong foundation of science skills for future classes. Students are introduced to chemistry, physics, engineering, biology, and earth science while simultaneously applying these disciplines to environmental concerns and the world around them. In addition, they participate in two semester-long projects. They design a self-contained ecosystem in a bottle and also do a longitudinal study on marigold growth. Science in the Environment was one of my favorite classes. It was super fun. Another part of it that I liked was just walking over to the living lab. It was so pretty, walking over with my friends and measuring and then drawing. I loved that. One of my favorite parts of it was the marigold project. That was a super fun experience. It taught me a lot of responsibility. All the fun stuff that we did in Science and the Environment, all those labs, that really made me love science and that's what inspired me to take Honors Chem. Sophomores move on to biology classes, with fully one third of them taking Honors Chemistry concurrently. During biology, students explore the living world and learn about the relationships between organisms and their environment. They study evolution and the nature of heredity, with a strong emphasis on human evolution. Throughout the year, they complete an animal project, 
in which they apply the concepts taught in the course to an animal of their choice. My favorite part of the animal project was definitely making the posters. I think that was super fun and we could get really creative with it. Like I remember that I put leaves on my poster to make it and like trees to make it look like a jungle. So I think those were definitely my favorite parts of the animal project. Upper division classes include a wide variety of offerings, everything from marine biology and engineering physics to electronics and sports medicine. We offer four science AP classes, AP Biology, AP Physics, AP Chemistry, and AP Environmental Science. These classes offer motivated students the opportunity for advanced college level learning. There are currently 243 students enrolled in AP Science classes at O'Dowd. Many of our regular classes encourage learning outside the confines of the classroom with field trips, hikes, and research in the field. All of our science classes feature lab or project-based curriculum, which provides students with the opportunity to engage directly with the materials in collaborative groups to optimize understanding of science concepts. This student-centered approach promotes success across a wide range of learning styles. A variety of exciting research trips are also offered for students at every grade level. These include summer and winter visits to both Yosemite and Yellowstone, where students assist in gathering data on the diet of bison and other ungulates, while learning more about the geology of some of our most treasured U.S. parks. Internationally, students have the chance to work with Ecology Project International at their field stations in Costa Rica, the Galapagos Islands, and Belize. During these trips, students have the opportunity to engage with scientists in the field, study the rainforest, and collect data on leatherback turtles, Galapagos tortoises, and other elusive tropical creatures. Our talented and dedicated teachers are here to engage and encourage your students and to foster a love of learning science. We represent over 150 combined years of teaching experience. We would love the opportunity to shepherd your student through our courses and share our passion for science. I accidentally muted you, Mr. Newman. Sorry. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if only I could be muted more often. <laughs> so um, what we like to do is uh, open this up for some question and answer. Um, it's, um, you can either put it in the chat or depending on how that works, how it goes, you can uh, unmute yourself and give it a shot. Tom Anthony, you got a question? You can just unmute yourself. And... Uh, yes, I was curious about the computer science. Uh, how does that fit into the curriculum? Um, so computer science is part of our math curriculum. Um, for us in science, um, the, the document that I referred to earlier about science pathways and emphasis pathways, um, we recommend a certain amount of computer science or um, also statistics. So yeah, if you have a um, question, have a just question. holler out. Yeah, go ahead. I have a question. Um, so. Um, what do you mean by sports medicine? What kind of curriculum um, is that? So sports medicine is a semester course. We have very few semester courses, but that's one of them. And they study different injuries. They study body parts. So it kind of goes really well with anatomy and physiology. Um, but they also study kind of how to help somebody who has different injuries, some different types of modalities and different types of rehabilitations as well. So Tim, we got a question on the trips. How do they work and how many trips can a student go on? So our trips are divided up by 
by different years of students. So we have certain trips for freshmen, different ones for sophomores, different ones for juniors and seniors. Um, they first get recommended by a science teacher. So if they're really interested, and one of the things I would recommend is if you are interested in doing some science in the field, that you connect with your teacher early on and, and say, wow, this is something I'm really interested in. And then after recommendations, we go through an application process because we are really doing science in the field and we are working with some of our research partners and we're doing co data collection that matters for the different projects that are being done in the field. And Tim, how long are those trips? So a lot of them are um, nine days. Um, some of them are 12. Are there any- um, And adding on to, oh, sorry. Adding on to that, um, would you, would that be during the summer so you wouldn't miss school or, uh, mm -hmm. If you were going on a trip, would you miss your other classes? Yeah, that's, that is a great question. And we have some of both. Um, most of them are in the spring, so they don't miss school. So they're doing the spring break. Um, there are some during the summer, but we have a couple of them are, that are during the year just because we can't move those research assignments. Um, I have a question about the curriculum. How exact, it said in the video that um, you implicate certain aspects of tech into your upperclassmen um, courses. How exactly does that fit into the curriculum? Um, so technology is kind of part of all of our curriculum, not just the upper division. Um, but, but some of the more specific stuff would be upper, upper division. So if you're in a robotics class or if you're in an engineering physics class, obviously that would be much more specific. Um, but in terms of scientific tools and data collection, you're going to get that from freshman year up. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I so there's see there's... I see there's a question on resources, uh, special resources or clubs for girls in science. Um, I could take that one. I, we do have a, a kind of a steam for women that um, I believe is currently on hold at the moment, just this year, but it is an active club. Um, and we also have, well, any, Females are highly encouraged in science. And there's the O'Dowd Climate Coalition, which is led by three um, female uh, upperclassmen. So there's plenty of resources for uh, clubs for females in science. Uh, did I answer that question, Lisa? Do you have a follow-up on that? Tim, a lot of people came in late and there's a question yeah, here you. about, <clears throat> there's a question here about the courses in each year. So maybe touching on the document again. Okay, yeah. So if you check out one of our documents on, on our science courses, you'll be able to see that really clearly, but all of our freshmen take science and the environment. Um, and that's followed by a sophomore year of biology some of our biology students also take honors chem or chemistry, um, but they need to be um, in good standing from their freshman year doing science to take two sciences concurrently. Um, after biology, students have a lot of choices. And so we have a wide variety of choices from the environmental science realm to the physical science realm to life sciences. Um, but it's, it's a student's choice or student and parent choice after that point. Um, I have another question about the trips. Uh, are they paid for? Um, do, do the student's parents or uh, guardians pay for them or um, are they like free or something like that. 
Yeah, it's a great question. Um, we are always looking into ways to fund our trips, um, but for the most part, um, they are not funded. Um, and unless you're on financial need, we do have some resources in that realm. Um, but some of our trips to say, um, to, to take care of that, some of our trips are a lot less expensive depending on where they are. So we have a few trips to Yosemite. Um, one of them is a backpacking trip. One of them is a winter trip. Um, those are a lot less expensive because we can get to Yosemite a lot um, cheaper than flying to like the Galapagos. So there's a question on um, homework workload. I don't know, in the sciences. Uh, <laughs> a really great question. Um, and especially now, since we've been dealing with remote learning, so we've all been dealing with a lot of homework load issues. Um, I would say that the homework workload is going to be bigger depending on whether it's an upper division and an and or an AP level course um, than it is going to be for like a freshman or sophomore more level course. So a lot of the work that we're doing can be done in class with some supplemental uh, homework outside of class to finish it up um, at the lower levels, but at the upper levels, there's gonna be significantly more homework. Um, I, have a, I have a question. What does a normal week of like classes look like? Well, like what's the structure of the classes? Um, so a normal week of classes when we're on campus um, is alternating days of black and gold. And so you'll go to four of your classes on one day, four of your classes on the next, and it keeps alternating. Um, and within that schedule, there is a flex period, one where you will not have a class. Um, and then uh, depending on what other classes you're taking and the kind of load you're taking, um, there are some people who have a study hall as well, but most people just the flex. Um, well, that wasn't exactly my question. I should have phrased it better. Uh, what does like the science class over the week look like? Is every day a lab or is it like some days there's something like they you learn like something a lecture and then a lab and then something else or like how does it look like in science like in science? Okay, Linda, you want to talk about that in terms of freshmen? Sure. So as a freshman, you take a class called Science and the Environment, which is an integrated course that includes biology, chemistry, a little bit of physics. We do environmental science. Um, and the class is very hands-on. So for the most part, you're doing, there's like maybe a little mini lecture at the beginning of class with some information that you need in order to do the lab. And then there's some sort of lab or hands-on activity. Um, we also spend a lot of time outside in the living lab in science and the environment. And then kind of at the end of class, you might have like a wrap where you make sure that your teacher makes sure that you understood the material for the day. And then the homework load for freshmen is usually like a little bit of wrap up homework each day. So it's kind of designed as a bridge to the next class since as teachers, we only see you every other day because of the block schedule. Does that answer your question? Yeah, thanks. Awesome. Steph Curry, I see you got it, your hand up. Uh, hello, um, my name is actually Apollo Regacho. I guess you can't change my name right now. Um, my, my question is, <laughs> Are there any science or tech challenges or tech challenges that the school participates in? Um, we are not currently doing that um, within our classes. We are we, um, we tend to focus some of our presentations and things just based on our curriculum at ODAD or on our um, international research that we're doing outside. Uh, I have one final question. Um, so I know, I think, I think there are four teachers in this. I might be wrong, but um, uh, who teaches what? Like, um, yeah, who teaches? Um, so uh, I teach biology and AP biology. And, and I teach 
science in the environment and there are two other teachers who also teach science in the environment? Right, I think it's hard to uh, definitely answer that because some of us will teach multiple subjects during, you know, depending on the year as well. Uh, like this year I teach biology and AP environmental science. And I teach biology and honors chemistry. Um, so what other AP classes are there other than AP biology? Karen, you want to do that? Yeah, there's AP environmental science, um, and that is kind of an interdisciplinary course. We have AP biology, which Mr. Newman teaches. We also have AP physics and AP um, chemistry. Have I missed any? We have four AP science classes, right? Yeah. It's also common, um, you know, people take one AP. Also, we've had many students take two APs, science APs at the same time as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm, uh, I want to be thoughtful that um, our session uh, ended actually four minutes ago. We're not rushing you out, but I know you may have other places to go. Um, for those of you who missed time, we have recorded this session so that you will be able to get it from our admissions office and be able to see what you missed. But if you have more questions, I'm certainly willing to stay. I'm sure the other teachers are too um, and answer any questions that you have. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hello. I have a question. What's your um, pass rate, like fours and fives, on the four different AP courses that you uh, offer? Um, that's, that's a great question because it really depends on the year, um, because since the AP curriculum does change a bit. But I would feel very comfortable telling you that we are generally between 80 and 90% um, on, on most years across the board. Mm -hmm. And how many students take AP at each of those courses? Well, we have a total of about 243 right now in all of our courses. Um, so it just, and then it, that fluctuates how that's divided out. 243 across those four courses? Correct. Okay. Uh, does that mean that you then have multiple instances or you actually have large, uh, you know, uh, well, we, have, we have multiple sections. large lectures. Okay. No, we have multiple sections. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Bye bye. So, Tim, I think most of the people that are here right now have just came in. <laughs> okay. All right, we, um, we uh, just so you know, those people who just came in, um, we definitely have been recording this session so that you can go through and watch it and get a hold of it through admissions. Um, probably not tonight, but soon. And if you have questions about science, we'd love to take your questions uh, before you head off somewhere else. Hi, I have a question. I don't know if you all will be able to answer this, but I'm having trouble accessing the math open house Zoom link. I'm wondering if anyone else is having trouble. It's taking me, it's not taking me into a Zoom session. Um, Tim, I saw that Moira was here earlier. Do we know? Yeah, but she's not here now. Right. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I wish I had a, a good solution for you, but I don't. So. No problem. Thank you. Yeah. Any questions for any of you before we uh, send you off somewhere? else for Bishop O'Dowd.
You can also put questions into the chat. Hello, um, I've been, I'm having trouble getting into the math session. Is that uh, something other people have been experiencing? Yeah, somebody just said that. Um, I'm, we don't know how to, where to send you. Oh, no, well, that's fine. Perhaps uh, the host of that session, he needs to turn off authentication. <laughs> Um, I, I think he keeps account. asking for the account, which I think is your account, not my account, Google account. So if you can let him know, because I don't think anybody can get in. I will definitely try. All right, thank you. Yeah. Hi, sorry. Um, I don't know if it was just a Wi-Fi bug, because before I couldn't leave this Zoom, but I can't get into the math Zoom. <laughs> Yeah, we're not alone. Common problem. You know what? Let me see if I can call Karen Pincus. If she'll pick up. Just sent a fire sound a message. She's the only one I know. That's a good idea. Like um, Carlos, which I presume is your uh, one of your folks, just posted a new link to um, the Google spreadsheet, and that seems to be working. I haven't tried it because I'm gonna. I would have been kicked out of this meeting so i just want to let you know that might be okay now great yes the administration great. just is contacting the tech department so hopefully something will change that's not firestone just said it's fixed okay yes thank you Okay, well, if there are no more questions, I think we will end our session for tonight. But again, if you didn't catch us early, um, there will be a recording that we'll make available through admissions so that you can see that. Thanks everybody for coming. Bye. 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 Bye.